Palantir took the world by storm, transforming from a quiet government contractor into one of the most talked about AI and defense tech giants on Wall Street. While some savvy investors recognized its potential early and bought shares below $10, most could only watch as it soared. But here's the twist no one's discussing. What if the next Palantir is already out there, quietly moving through the shadows, securing billion-dollar partnerships, stacking defense contracts, and positioning itself for a breakout that could surprise the market? In this video, we're examining three AI tech companies that are not just part of the AI revolution. They're leading it. We'll review their financials, explore their strategic moves, and highlight the factors that could drive their growth. Of course, every potential reward involves risk, and we won't avoid it. By the end, you'll have a better understanding of what's at stake and what to look out for. As we reach 1,000 subscribers in this growing investor community, we're offering something special, a free guide packed with proven strategies used by top investors to identify explosive stock opportunities. The link is in the description. If this video provides value, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. All right, starting with the first pick, BigBear.ai, BBAI stock, the next Palantir, or a cautionary tale in disguise. Artificial intelligence may be 2025's defining investment theme. But let's be clear, not all AI stocks are created equal. While mega caps like NVIDIA and Palantir continue to hog headlines, a stealthier player is rapidly stealing the speculative spotlight. BigBear.ai Holdings Inc. After rallying over 77% in the past month, BigBear.ai has exploded onto the radar of retail traders and AI bulls alike. But before you rush in, ask yourself, is this liftoff sustainable or just another altitude sickness-inducing spike in a hype-driven market? Let's break it down. BigBear.ai burst into the spotlight this month after deploying its Enhanced Passenger Processing, EPP, biometric tech across 12 major airports and ports of entry, including Chicago O'Hare, DFW, and Denver. This isn't pie-in-the-sky AI. It's boots-on-the-ground software, operating in mission-critical U.S. infrastructure. And Big Bear didn't stop there. The company also showcased its Vane platform during Project Convergence, Capstone 5, a multinational military exercise involving the U.S., the U.K., France, Australia, and other countries. The technology enabled faster threat detection and battlefield intelligence, an unmissable signal that Big Bear's technology is making the leap from theory to defense-tested reality. With a market cap under $2 billion, BigBear.ai remains a David in a Goliath war. Its specialty? AI-powered decision intelligence software, primarily for defense and government agencies. On the bright side, that means securing long-term, sticky government contracts. Case in point, a $165 million U.S. Army deal to build the Global Force Information Management System worth over 20% of its trailing 12-month revenue. But there's the rub. 52% of Big Bear's revenue comes from just four clients. A shift in government priorities, budgets, or leadership could send its revenue model into a tailspin. The numbers are encouraging, but not convincing. In Q1 2025, revenue rose just 5% year-over-year to $34.8 million, a figure that pales next to Palantir's 45% growth in its government segment. Even worse, Big Bear's adjusted EBITDA losses ballooned from $1.6 into $7, revealing deeper cash burn. Still, there's a silver lining. The contract backlog surged 30% year-over-year, reaching $385 million. If management can effectively convert backlog into revenue, and fast, that could flip investor sentiment and catalyze a more sustained rally. Looking at the valuation, is this stock cheap for a reason or a hidden gem? BBAI trades at around 11x sales, which is low for an AI company, particularly when compared to Palantir, which trades at a whopping 122x. That might scream undervalued, but beware. The multiple reflects justified skepticism. Slow growth, client concentration, and cash flow concerns keep many institutional buyers on the sidelines. That said, Big Bear isn't just sitting idle. It's expanding its AI suite, tightening integration with defense clients, and leaning into the onshoring trend fueled by national security concerns. The Zacks rank system assigns BBAI a number three hold rating, a neutral stance indicating that the market sees potential but remains unconvinced. Analysts project $166.85 million in full-year revenue, plus 5.45%, with earnings still in the red at an estimated EPS of plus 41 cents. 
The broader computers IT services sector ranks in the top 22% of all industries, indicating Big Bear isn't moving against the tide, but it still has to prove it can swim faster. Risks you shouldn't ignore. Let's not sugarcoat this. Growth underperformance. Revenue is stagnant, while competitors like Palantir are surging ahead. Cash burn. Operating losses are increasing, not shrinking. Client concentration. 52% of revenue from four clients? That's not diversification. That's dependence. Hype risk. After a 77% plus surge, traders may take profits, hard and fast, if earnings disappoint. Execution uncertainty. Turning backlog into realized growth takes more than contracts. It takes scale, reliability, and vision. So, is BBAI the next Palantir or a Mirage? Currently, BigBear.ai occupies an intriguing position. Part defense contractor, part AI innovator. It's not vaporware. It's not a meme stock. However, it remains speculative. I remember it. If BigBear.ai can demonstrate strong Q3 or Q4 results, especially by turning backlog into recurring revenue, it could be a multi-bagger in disguise. If not, it might serve as a case study in AI hype. For bold investors willing to stomach volatility, BBAI provides exposure to one of the most underappreciated areas of the AI revolution. But stay sharp. Track that backlog conversion. Watch earnings closely. And don't underestimate the impact of geopolitics in a defense-heavy narrative. The million-dollar question isn't if Big Bear will grow. It's how fast it can prove it. If you're bullish on AI and ready to take a calculated bet on an underdog, this might be your window. Let us know in the comments. Is Big Bear the next breakout story in AI or a cautionary tale in the making? Moving to the following stock, Amprius Technologies ticker symbol AMPX, a name you might not have heard whispered on Wall Street yet, but one that's been making all the right moves quietly in the background. While others are still discussing lithium-ion batteries in the past tense, Amprius is re-engineering the future thanks to its next-generation silicon anode platform. But here's where things start heating up. Just recently, Amprius struck a manufacturing deal with a top-tier battery producer in South Korea. That move alone could significantly accelerate its global production scale, precisely what is needed to meet the rising demand from sectors such as defense, drones, aerospace, and clean mobility. Think high-powered drones, fighter jets, and even electric aviation. Financially, the company delivered a surprise in its latest earnings. Revenue surged 383% year-over-year, and the loss per share was significantly lower than expected. Analysts took note, upgrading price targets by 13% and increasing their 2025 revenue expectations to $61.7 million, representing an 86% rise from current levels. Even better, 83% of their revenue came from outside the U.S., which reduces domestic policy exposure and spreads out geopolitical risk. Meanwhile, they've gained 46 new customers in just one quarter, showing growing market traction. However, let's stay realistic. Despite the innovation, AMPX isn't profitable yet. With a $9.4 million GAAP net loss in Q1 and a 24% increase in operating costs, they'll need to proceed carefully to avoid running out of their approximately $48 million cash reserve too quickly. And with capital-intensive expansion ongoing, especially with a future Colorado facility, cash dilution and scale risks are significant. Still, with marquee clients like DARPA, BA, and Aerovironment already placing orders, the company's high-performance battery tech is gaining trust where it counts. So here's the bottom line. Amprius could be the palantir of cleantech, a deep tech innovator with massive upside, but only if it navigates the production curve and capital runway wisely. Are you ready to bet on revolutionary batteries that could change the energy needs of aviation and defense? Let us know in the comments, and stay tuned as we analyze the third stock that might be hiding in plain sight. Kratos Defense and Security Solutions, ticker symbol KTOS, is no longer just a niche player in the defense industry. It's quickly becoming one of the most promising and underrated companies in the growth of autonomous warfare and AI-powered aerospace systems. While most investors chase headlines about big defense contractors, Kratos has been quietly expanding, securing long-term contracts in unmanned systems, satellite infrastructure, directed energy weapons, and AI-powered drones. Now the market is finally taking notice. Since the beginning of the year, KTOS has surged over 124%, transforming from a quiet mover into a technical breakout leader. The stock navigated cautiously through Q1, dealing with pullbacks, consolidations, and doubts. However, momentum continuously built. By mid-June, everything changed. 
a wave of institutional interest, increased volume, and government defense tailwinds pushed the stock past $45, then $50, and now over $59, approaching all-time highs. Behind this breakout, massive catalysts. The XQ-58 Valkyrie drone has achieved program of record status with the U.S. Marine Corps, marking a significant step toward production. Meanwhile, Kratos is showcasing its satellite capabilities with end-to-end -end 5G non-terrestrial network demonstrations and increasing innovation in microwave electronics for next-generation warfare. Analysts are taking notice. Raymond James reiterates a strong buy with a $40 target. Cantor Fitzgerald is bullish highlighting the potential for multi-branch adoption, especially in attrition lethality frameworks. And Noble Capital just upped its price target to $60, citing untapped growth across both military and commercial verticals. But every rally casts a shadow. Despite the momentum, Kratos isn't without risk. Valuation risk. After its 124% year-to-date move, KTOS is trading at premium levels. Any earnings miss or contract delay could spark a sharp reversal. Government Dependency Kratos's growth is tightly tied to U.S. defense budgets. A shift in policy, especially after the election, could create volatility. Execution risk. This is deep tech territory. Kratos must deliver cutting-edge technology at scale, from AI drones to energy weapons, or risk eroding investor confidence. Heavyweight competition. Lockheed, Ondural, Northrop, and Palantir are circling. Kratos must innovate aggressively to maintain its edge. KTOS is no longer flying under the radar. It's positioned at the bleeding edge of defense tech innovation. But this isn't a low-risk bet. It's a high-stakes moonshot with multi-billion dollar upside and a few sharp turns along the way. So, do you chase the momentum now or wait for the inevitable dip to build your position? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments on these three AI tech stocks. And if you're looking for more next-gen plays like Palantir, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. We're just getting warmed up.